Little Mole Gives Thanks by Glennis Nellist, illustrated by Sally Garland. Little Mole Gives Thanks. For Sam, who helped me write this book, I love you so much from Grandma and to Johnny and Ron. Little Mole was so excited for his fancy forest feast. He stood under the old oak tree and admired the big table he'd set. The pine cone pie he'd made with Mama was perfect. The acorn stew was sizzling, and the mushroom soup smelled marvelous. Little Mole beamed, one of the best seats. He carefully placed special signs for three very important guests. They would be arriving soon, it says reserved, reserved, reserved on those best seats. Little Lark peeped out from her nest above and watched as Little Mole put the strawberry sauce on the table. Who is this special seat for, Little Mole, she asked. Oh, you'll soon see, Little Mole replied. Someone very important. Little Squirrel sat on a branch nearby and watched as Little Mole scurried to the table with a pitcher of blackberry juice. Who is this special seat for, Little Mole, she asked. Oh, you'll see. You'll soon see, Little Mole replied, someone very special. Little Mouse popped his head out of his hole in the tree trunk and watched as Little Mouse set the pumpkin pudding in the center of the table. Who is this special seat for, Little Mole, he asked. Oh, you'll soon see, Little Mole replied, someone very important. At last, everything was ready. Little Mole brushed his hair and took off his apron. He was all set to welcome his three special guests. They would be so impressed with his fancy forest feast. Little Mole beamed in delight as the first important guest came down the path. It was Principal Porcupine. But before Little Mole could take her to her special seat, Principal Porcupine shook her head and said, Oh, Little Mole, I'm so sorry. I have an event at school. I can't come to your fancy forest feast. Little Mole was so disappointed, but he cheered up when he saw the next important guest arriving. It was Firefighter Fox. But before Little Mole could take him to a special seat, Firefighter Fox shook his head and said, Oh, Little Mole, I'm so sorry. I have to clean my fire truck. I can't come to your fancy forest feast. Little Mole was so disappointed, but he cheered up when he saw the next important guest arriving. It was Mayor Moose. But before Little Mole could take him to his special seat, Mayor Moose shook his head and said, Oh, Little Mole, I'm so sorry. I need to get to the city council meeting. I can't come to your fancy forest feast. Little Mole was so disappointed. He put his head in his paws and wondered what to do. Little Lark, Little Squirrel, and Little Mouse felt so bad for their friend. Oh, Little Mole, they said as they ran and gave him a hug. We're sorry your important guest couldn't come. You worked really hard to prepare your fancy forest feast. Little Mole looked at his three good friends and suddenly he knew what to do. He jumped up and grabbed his chalk and wrote on the three signs. Little Lark, Little Squirrel, and Little Mouse, he shouted. These special seats are for you. Now run, invite all your friends. I want my table to be full. Little Mole beamed at Mama as he looked around the table at all the creatures who had gathered there. Raise your glasses, Little Mole said. Let's give thanks for our families and our friends because they are the most important. To friends and family, everyone cheered as they drank their blackberry juice. It was the fanciest forest feast ever. How to plan your own fancy forest feast. Where? First decide where your fancy forest feast will take place. It doesn't have to be in a forest. It could be in your backyard, a local park, your grandparents' backyard, or even your house. When? Decide when the feast will happen, what day and what time work best for you and your guests. Who? Brainstorm who you're going to invite. Is it just for your family or can you invite friends and neighbors too? Make a list. How? Now for the fun part, once you've figured out where, when, and who, you're ready to work out how. You'll organize your feast and what you'll include. Make and deliver your invitations. Plan your recipes like turkey or leaf-shaped sandwiches. You can use shaped cutters, Thanksgiving snack mix, fresh raspberry lemonade, and pinecone porcupines. There's a foil wrapped potato in the picture. Think about how you want to cover the table. If you don't have a tablecloth, can you make a colorful table covering from paper? Decorate it yourself or have all your guests write what they are thankful for on it. Make each guest a placemat with their name. 
Make some decorations such as leaf garlands to hang around the space. Draw or trace leaf shapes onto colored paper. Cut them out. Punch a hole near the base of the leaf and join them together on a string. On the day of your feast, arrive early so you can have everything ready by the time the guests arrive. Decorate the space and set the table. Place the food items in the middle of the table. Everyone will need a placemat, a plate, a napkin, eating utensils, and a cup. Set them out like this. Welcome your guests. As you eat, invite people to share what they are thankful for. Be sure to leave the space nice and clean when you are done. And thank everyone for coming. Have fun. There's our um, author and our illustrator. Glennis Nellist is the author of multiple children's books, including the Little Mole series. She's also the author of the best-selling Twas the Evening of Christmas and the popular series Love Letters from God and Snuggle Time. Her writing reflects a deep passion for helping children discover joy in the world. Glennis lives in Michigan with her husband, David. Sally Garland was brought up in the small town of Alness in the Highlands of Scotland and studied illustration at Edinburgh College of Art. She currently works in Glasgow where she lives with her partner and young son. Sally has loved drawing and has had a passion for children's literature and illustration since she was young. She now has many years of experience working as a children's illustrator. Her current influences include vintage picture book illustrations from the 1950s and 1960s. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed Little Mole's Feast.